Turning to Weather Watch 12 now, the snow forecast is in super, super fun one. Ooh. I know Mark is excited. Mm. All right, Mark, give us a lowdown. I don't want to. <laughs> you got to. All right. <laughs> I guess that is my job. Let's get right to it. There's things we know. Things are still a little bit uncertain. Mm -hmm. So let's start there, and we'll give you that uh, forecast, and you can try to uh, make your plans around it because it's going to make things a little slick out here as we head into Friday. Again, this is late Thursday night, mainly Friday morning. So midnight to noon, that's the general timing. Snow likely across the entire area. Roads are going to get snow covered. They're going to be slippery, and I think that'll be almost everywhere. Uh, thinking that we might have had a mix yesterday near the border, that's still possible, but less likely. What could change? There's going to be this one little, if you really want to know, a photogenic forcing band. That is going to be super skinny. And that's the problem with this forecast. It makes it really difficult. A tiny little change is going to make a huge difference. This is a stay tuned forecast. Is it possible it's going to change more later tonight and again tomorrow? Yes. If it would take number one, we'd have more mix in here. It is looking like the low pressure center will stay just to the south of us and almost everybody likely going to stay snow. And so keep that in mind. How much snow? Good chunk of the area. Three to six. Now, this is likely to be a skinnier band somewhere in this area. But at this point, you have to put out a general three to six inches. Is it possible we get a little less than that? Yes, it's possible we could get even a little bit more if that brand stays in exactly the same spot. One to three inches north, one to three inches south. Still could have some rain mixing in down near the Illinois border. But this is going to be a troublesome system because it's going to slow you down. Is it enough to cancel school? We'll wait and see. Could be close. 37 degrees tomorrow. Tomorrow's quiet. Friday's the impact day. Most of the snow coming on Friday is in the morning. Then the next system arrives as we head into Sunday. Probably see a little snow early on, then changing over to rain. More rain showers on Monday, more rain showers on Tuesday. At least temperatures warm up, and then we'll finally see the sun again. But a fairly uh, active forecast, certainly, over the next couple of days. All right. High pressure for tomorrow, then low pressure moves in. Here comes the snow, so let's head into the overnight hours. Here's midnight, snow moving in. See a little mix very close to the border. Six o'clock in the morning, snow coming down. That warm front stays just to the south of us. Low pressure center stays just to the south of us by noon. It's done, and then we'll start quieting things down. It's a beautiful day. It's just cold for this time of year. 34 degrees, 33 as we take you up to Elkhart Lake. Road America love that blue sky out there. And yeah, still a little breeze, 36 degrees breeze out of the north. And that's held our temperatures down all day. You can see that here. And still a little windy uh, winds out of the northwest right now, up to 30 miles per hour. All right. Becoming cloudy for tomorrow, then that morning snow on Friday. Saturday, the cloudy day. Impact day is on Friday. Heaviest snow will be in the morning hours. Here's the rest of your seven day forecast. That chance of rain or snow on Sunday, likely more snow. I think we could start or likely more rain starting out of snow. Showers on Monday, showers on Tuesday, and then finally on Wednesday, we're drying out. Did that make any sense at all? Probably not. We well, heard snow though. <laughs> here's the key. The key snow. is it's going to snow for everybody Thursday night into Friday, and that Friday morning commute could be trouble. Mm. Been warned. You got it. Thank sure. you, Mark.